worry. Another three pounds. I don't get it, Jimmy. I just don't get it. Oh, what is it exactly you don't understand, Ray? Where's all this weight coming from? I'm not on a diet. I only eat the donuts with the fruit. Oh, hey, guys. Uh, the chief wants us to meet in the briefing room in five minutes, and he don't look happy. Uh-oh. All right, everyone, listen up. The silicone psycho attacked another victim last night. Now, that makes 12 in two months. And we still don't have any leads, do we? Well, the mayor thinks we're incompetent. Men are afraid to go out alone at night. And even worse, it's the only thing the media's talking about. Listen to this crap. With the discovery of the 12th victim, citizens are starting to wonder why the police still don't have a single suspect. And what, and what are they doing? I'm asking you, what are they doing about all these tits? 12 victims, not two. Not three, not four, not seven, but 12! And the police still haven't caught a single suspect. What a bunch of boobs! El psicopata de grande status, sigue en libertad. We're expecting clear skies tonight throughout the region. A wonderful evening for a straw. Well, at least we're not talking about it on the Weather Channel. <laughs> but we strongly advise that everyone stay indoors. The silicone psycho is still out there. Let's look at the weekend. Now that's enough. From now on, this fella's our number one priority. You got that? Whitaker, Peters, you two are leading the investigation. Get down to the scene and look for clues. And then go to the hospital and question the victim. I want some stuff happening here. I want, I want evidence. I need something. Right, right away, away, Chief. Investigate, investigate? What's he want us to investigate? There's nothing here. It's just an alley. Well, uh, uh, maybe we should ask around and uh, see if anybody saw something. What do you think, right? Yeah, that's that's good, Jimmy. That's very good. Whoa, 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 lady. Hey, lady. Excuse me, but did you see anything suspicious here last night? Say it around 11 o'clock. Uh, no. Hmm. Okay, then, uh, <clears throat> then uh, where were you last night at uh, 11 o'clock? Yeah, um, I was at home. I was watching TV. Is that so? Well, do you have an alibi? Can someone uh, attest to your whereabouts? Okay! Okay, you got me! I wasn't at home! I was with my lover! But I can't help it! I love him! I love him so much! Is it a crime to love someone? I ask you! Is it against the law? Why? Won't you let us just keep on loving? <laughs> Okay, okay, that's fine. It's okay, you're free to go, miss. Ah. Have a nice day. Thank you. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, hey, young man. Uh, just hold on a second. I didn't do anything. I, I didn't break the window. It was Timmy. Timmy's the one who did it, not me. Aha, and did this Timmy handle any breast implants in the last 24 hours? Huh? Never mind, kid, you beat it. Get out of here, scram. I didn't break the window. It wasn't me. Yeah. Oh, hold on. Hold on just a minute there, Grandpa. Hold on a second. Can you tell us where you were last night? Well, where do you think I was? I was hiding at home. As long as you and the titty committee can't get your act together, I'm safer inside my own damn house. Now, now wait a minute. Well, we're, we're working on it. We're investigating right now, actually. Uh, hey, Ray, Ray, look, check it out. I think I found a clue. Oh. Aha, you see? What did I tell you? Looks like a cloth soaked in chloroform. Yeah, chloroform, Jimmy. How do you know it's chloroform? It smells like chloroform. Here, take a whiff, right? You know what? I will. Oh, yeah, that's good. Oh, see? What did I tell you? Chloroform. Oh. So, Mr. Manchester, what are you going to do with your new breasts? Well, uh, I actually thought about having them lanced and donating them to my wife. Coconuts like these don't grow on trees, do they? <laughs> but, uh, I'm going to hang on to them for just a little longer. Oh, and why is that? Well, there's a wet t-shirt contest at Gigolo's nightclub. The grand prize is a trip to Cancun. Cancun, right? <laughs> We've never been to 
Cancun. Yeah, there's a bar in the pool, so you don't even have to go to the bathroom half the time. Okay, show's over, folks. One side, this is official police business. Thank you. Now, Mr. Manchester, we need to ask you a few more questions about the attack. Ah, uh, but I already told you guys everything I know. I was walking down the street, and then I saw this shadow. And then after that, I don't remember anything. Except that I woke up and I had these incredibly perky boobs. <laughs> mm-hmm. And what did this shadow look like? Well, kind of like a... Like a shadow? What do you mean? A shadow? Look like a shadowy-like. Well, make sure you get that, Jimmy. A shadowy-like shadow. <laughs> hey, don't I know you from somewhere? Yeah, you know, you look kind of familiar, too. <gasps> Jimmy! Jimmy Peters from St. Mary's Junior High. Oh, my <laughs> goodness, it's Lenny Manchester. Wow. <laughs> I remember you. Yeah. Wow, we were in the same class, right? <laughs> oh, and you had that girlfriend. A really ugly redhead who, who stuttered. M -m 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 name. What was her name again? Uh, Mindy. <laughs> what a name, Mindy. We called her Mindy the Monkey. Man, was she ever ugly. She was so ugly. I wonder what happened to her. Probably killed herself with a face like that, plus a stutter. Too bad. <laughs> I married her. Mindy, this is Jimmy. You remember Jimmy, don't you? N -n 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 nice to see you. <laughs> yes! It's so good to see you again, Mindy! And you guys are still together! That never happens! That's so beautiful! Attention ah. all units! A truck carrying a load of breast implants was just stolen on Highway 132. I repeat, a truck carrying a load of breast implants was just stolen. That's our guy, Jimmy! That's our guy! What? Yeah, yes! So we have to go! But it's, uh, it's been so great to get cut, to, to see, to get, to catch. And now I'm stuttering! It's like it's a. Contagious disease. It's not though. It's everything's great and it's great apart from the tits thing or things, uh, but they're great I mean not that they're bad. I, I think they're quite handsome. Anyway, everything's good and I it's great to catch up Come on. Come on Jimmy. Let's go. Yeah. Bye B -b -b Bye So can you explain exactly what happened to you and your truck? Well, I was, I was just rolling along and all of a sudden, I see this guy standing right in the middle of the road, waving me down, trying to get me to stop, he was. Okay. And what did this individual look like? Well, I'm not too sure, because he was wearing a ski mask, so I couldn't really see his face so much. What? A ski mask? Didn't you think that was a bit suspicious? Suspicious? Why? No, no. It's cold out here. Nippy. And there was a big breeze blowing. I just thought he was someone who didn't like to be cold. I don't have anything against people who wear ski masks, you know. Takes all kinds. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, then what happened next? What? Oh, well, then he told me. Wow! Hey, you've got yourself a pretty nice truck there. Yup, yup. She's a beauty. Ha <laughs> I love my truck. Oh, sure, who wouldn't? You know, I'm thinking about buying one myself. Yep, yep. Hey. How about you let me take it for a spin? Just to check it out, see how it handles. What do you say? Well, I don't see why not. And then what did you do? I let him drive off with my truck. He wanted to try it, didn't he? Hmm. Hmm. I don't get it. He told me he was just going to take it for a spin. I just, I don't get it, you know? Sir, I mean, it's kind of obvious he stole your truck. It was all part of his plan. Huh? Well, yeah, he was a thief. Oh, my good gravy! I had no idea! Ha! <laughs> oh, that guy's good. <laughs> he's, he's good, though, isn't he? Uh, well, I guess we're done here. Come on, Jimmy, roll out. Hey, Ray! I think I just found another clue. Look, look! Check it, he checked this out. Hmm, interesting. Uh, it could be a lead. We should bring it back to the lab and have it analyzed. Good work. Yeah. Huh. Robbie. Robbie, uh, we need you to examine uh, this piece of evidence and tell us everything you can about it. Well, it's obviously a squashed gopher. Exactly. We found it on the side of the highway at a crime scene where a truck was stolen. Uh, do you think this um, squashed gopher, as you say, might have any clues for us? Clues? It's a squashed gopher! Okay, go on. What do you mean, go on? What do you want me to say? It's a gopher squashed in a Ziploc bag. Well, come on, do your job. Use your instruments and help us find the truck. You're the scientist. Fine. Okay. 
Because of that, the subject seems to have been killed by a tire. Haha. <laughs> you see, Jimmy? These guys are good. They're really, really good. And it looks like no attempt was made at stopping, which led to a clean and complete squashing of the said gopher. So, you think you can bring it back to life? Bring it back to life? What are you talking about? This gopher's a puppetum! What am I supposed to bring it back to life? Well, well, I don't know. I was just thinking out loud. And what would you do with it if I brought it back to life anyway? Interrogate it? It's a gopher, for Christ's sake! Okay, all right. You don't have to hurt my feelings. Forget it. Hello? The truck is at 33 Donville Lane in Farnham. <laughs> Oh, who was it, Jimmy? I don't know. Some guy said the truck was at 33 Donville Lane in Farnham. And then he laughed and hung up. I guess he thought it was funny. Hmm. Well, finally, someone's cooperating with us. Come on, Jimmy, we're done here. Roll out. It's a goddamn gopher! We'll catch him by surprise, Jimmy. Well, don't you think we should call for backup, Ray? Might be a good idea. No, no, forget it. No, we don't need backup. I'll bet you a maple glazed donut will be out of there in 20 minutes with the silicone psycho. Hey, stupid. Why are you saying no? Because there's no way I'm doing that. This isn't the time. What do you mean this isn't the time? You want me to spin around and then curl up into a little ball? That's crazy. That's not what it means. I was saying go around back. We'll catch them by surprise. It's not that complicated. I'm sorry, but this and this means spin around and curl up into a little ball. I know my signs. I was the best in sign class. Forget the signs, okay? Go around back. We'll catch him by surprise. Okay. You shush, shush. But that's not what your signs meant. What the hell? There's no one here. Incredible breasts. This isn't funny anymore, Ray. Oh, we have to catch them. This just got personal. I don't know, Jimmy. Those things are beautiful. Whoa, Jimmy, do you see what it's on the wall? What? Look at all the photos. That's me. And look, there's Lenny, the guy from the hospital, Ray. Yeah, and every one of the other victims. Hey, wait a minute. Now that I'm looking at all this, these are all guys who went to St. Mary's Junior High. Huh? Yeah, just sort of jumped out at me. It's my entire class from the seventh grade, Ray. Wait a minute. You know all of these guys? They were all in your grade seven class? Yeah, talk about a total fluke, huh? Jimmy, huh. we've been chasing this guy for two months. You, you never realized it didn't occur to you that you knew all of the victims? Well, it's not like we stayed in touch or anything, Ray. It's been a while. I mean, I was only 13 back then. Huh. All right, uh, well, whoa. You know what this means? The silicone psycho probably has some sort of connection to your junior high school. Yeah. So you think the psycho went to school here at St. Mary's? <clears throat> yeah, exactly. Now, all the victims were in the same grade seven class Jimmy was in. Now look, everyone's there. I marked them in red. Uh-huh. And what about these two ones here, the ones you haven't marked? Oh, well, that's uh, Harvey Smitty, the class clown. And the other kid there is Neelan Newby. Little four-eyed fatty who never said a word. But we definitely teased the crap out of old Newby. <laughs> Especially Smitty really gave it to him. Every day, on and on and on. Neelan Newby has big boobies. Neelan Newby has big boobies. Neelan Newby has big boobies. Neelan Newby has big boobies.
little newbie has big boobies. Little newbie has big boobies. Little newbie has big boobies. Little newbie has big boobies. Little newbie has big boobies. Little newbie has big boobies. <clears throat> so we, we see some like that every day. Every single day. We never stopped. <laughs> well, I think it's pretty damned obvious. He's your psycho. Who, Neil and Newby? Of course, Neil and Newby. You all drove him crazy with your foolish songs. It scarred him for life, and now he's making everyone pay for what you've done to him. That's it. And he saved the cherry on top for last. His worst tormentor, Harvey Smitty. No way! Fatso Newbie's a silicone psycho? <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Look, it's kind of your fault, you know? You gotta be careful how you talk to people. Sometimes you're gonna leave a scar. <laughs> oh, come on! It's just for fun. Don't get all worked up about it. Look at Violet. People always told her she had ugly, crooked teeth. But she didn't go around putting braces on everybody, did she? Right, Violet? Uh, it's <laughs> true. They were pretty mean to me when I was younger, but these days, people don't make as much fun of me anymore. He's just crazy, that's all. It's not our fault, right, Jimmy? Uh, well, uh, uh hmm. So what do we do now? Well, there's a madman out there who wants to put boobs on my Harvey. You're not gonna let that happen, right? Now, don't you worry, Miss Smitty. We got officers stationed all over the place. We got them in the living room, the bedroom, the garage, even outside. Now, your husband, ma'am, is completely safe, and we're not going anywhere. We're gonna stay here and protect him until Neelan Newby is caught. Mark my words. Well, I hope you catch him soon, because with all the cops in here, it's gonna start stinking like a pig farm. <laughs> Good one, right, honey? Be polite, Harvey. These men are police officers. Come here, little piggy piggy. Come here, come here, little piggy piggy. That's out of line. Hey! That's enough. Okay, okay. Can't a guy have a little fun around here? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where do you think you're going, Harvey? <laughs> Relax, tubby. I'm just going to the bathroom. All right, well, make it quick. Are you boys hungry? How about a grilled cheese? Oh, I mean, I couldn't, couldn't possibly. We just, we just ate, right? I'll have one. Hmm. <laughs> mm. Oh, excellent grilled cheese, Miss Smitty. It oh, thank you. I make them with orange cheese and a little bit of relish just for that extra kick. There's definitely a little kick. Hey, I wonder what's taking him so long. Mm. He's been in the bathroom for about a half hour, I figure. Oh! oh my God, it's my Harvey! Harvey Smitty has big titties. 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 In a stunning turn of events in the Silicone Psycho Saga, authorities have finally nabbed the author of these heinous crimes, Neelan Newby, a man with no previous criminal record. Sorry about that, Harvey. We wanted to grab him before he, uh, grabbed you. It's not a big deal. It could have been way worse, right? Besides, we got that fat ass pretty good, right, Jimmy? Remember when we took his face into the toilet? And he was like, oh, I can't breathe. <laughs> he was like, this close to drowning? He's like, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> what a fat ass. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, guys, guys. <laughs> Some people never change, right? Roll out, Jimmy. <laughs> Cancun with my can cans. You know, seems to me that everything happens for a reason. Am I right, honey? That's true. Oh, I'm sorry to bother you. It's just that our car broke down, and we gotta get to the bank. It's kind of an emergency, you know? So what we were thinking was maybe we could borrow your truck and, and we'll then return it. We'll be in and out in five minutes tops. Oh, now, wait a minute. You guys aren't thieves, are you? Oh, no, 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 no. No. I swear on my cat's life we're not thieves. Okay, then. <laughs> hey, uh, listen, Neelan. I just wanted to say that I'm sorry if I hurt you every time I said, uh, Neelan Newbie has big boobies, Neelan Newbie has big boobies. 
I, I didn't realize it hurt so much. And um, I just wanted to say I'm sorry for what I did. And I hope you can forgive me. Well, that's okay, Jimmy. It's totally fine. I forgive you. What's done is done. No sense getting all crazy about it. Even no BS, big boo!